recognize the gentleman from Illinois, Mr. Kitzinger, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, thank you all very much for your work on these issues and, and for coming in uh, in front of us today. Um, I'm, I'm glad we're talking about this. This is uh, very important. It may not be on the, the national radar and the front page of the newspaper every day, but it's extremely important, I think, to the to the future of energy in this country. I actually, the, the Illinois' 11th district that I, I represent is the largest uh, nuclear district in the country. We have three uh, plants, six reactors, and uh, we actually have a uh, home of, of where there was originally going to be nuclear recycling in Morris, Illinois, which is now a, a spent fuel storage pool. Um, so we have four areas <laughs> where, where fuel is stored uh, in my district. Uh, giving us how we've paid $15 billion into this fund, including, you know, many of the rate payers in my district. Um, it's been, you know, now over a quarter of a century. Uh, so when I go back home to tell the people in my district that the federal government's responsible for, for the waste, how long should I tell them uh, that it's going to take to create a corporation to build community... Come to one of these mics on our side. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bipartisan nature of this position. No, Adam, just come up to the top. Oh, I'm more, oh, there you go. I'm back. Okay, great. So, as I was saying, um, at, when we talk about building the corporation, uh, building community consensus, constructing interim sites, uh, what what kind of a time scale are we talking about? I mean, the fear is we're talking another quarter century, and so as you continue to have you know waste build up on site, it's a it's a serious issue. So, um, what what are you what what are your all's inputs and what you think this is going to take from a time perspective? Well, uh, creating a new organization uh, will take legislative action, and uh, we talked about that a little earlier today here. Uh, I think with uh, Chairman Barton, uh, neither he nor I think it can be done in 2012. And it's uh, likely to be at least a two-year and maybe three or four-year project to create a new organization. Now, that doesn't mean you don't do anything between now and the time the organization is created. I think there are a lot of things that the DOD, and th these are spelled out in detail in the report, can do now to begin to prepare for uh, establishing a uh, uh, repository and a storage facility. Specifically in the report, we take a guess and we say that in order to establish a, a storage facility, you're talking 10 to 15 years and 15 to 20 years on a repository. So you're talking about a long length of time. There isn't any doubt about it. The, the next question I had in, in reading through the report, uh, I was disappointed with the Commission's timeline for developing advanced reactors to recycle used fuel. Uh, I understand the report's based on a consensus and members had differing opinions on, on whether to recycle nuclear waste, but I'd like to know, um, would a demonstration project, uh, if we were able to get one off the ground and online, would that shorten the, uh, the time estimate? Is that something you could see as... as being positive and in, in bringing that technology closer? Well, we, we had a panel, uh, a subcommittee, look at this, and they consulted the nuclear experts, if you will, and uh, what we're doing is reflecting the best thought that our own nuclear scientists have presented. So what we say is we, we support a vigorous R&D program, both in reactor development and in uh, and recycling, reprocessing uh, uh, spent fuel. But uh, uh, farther than that, uh, we wouldn't go because that is not fundamentally what we were asked to do. Okay. We, we want to keep options open in the future. And we believe a lot of advances in nuclear energy technology have the potential to deliver a lot of benefits. It could, we don't rule out uh, R&D on recycling and reprocessing. This could be the answer. We certainly, we think it's premature now to say that it is the answer, 
but uh, it could be, and we certainly want to proceed with the research and development on it. Well, thank you, and I, I thank you, gentlemen, and, and would echo the, uh, the chairman's comments of earlier. Uh, I would love to see the law of the land become the enforced law of the land, and uh, would love to see Yucca Mountain opened up. But with that said, I appreciate your time, and I'll yield back to the chairman.